इतना सफर है कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सफर है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते हैं नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा है ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा है एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा फर्क धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया गुड आफ्टर एवरीवन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन दिस वेबिनार ऑफ बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी ओवर चाय बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी ओवर चाय प्रेजेंटेड बाय द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया विद एन एम टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू विद द न्यू बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी एफिलिएटेड फ्लो क्लॉक today we do have a great fnb business opportunity for all of you but before we will start discussing the brand let me just quickly run you through with the q and a process if you have any questions during the webinar i would request you to please type your question and leave into q and a box we will take up all your questions post our presentation so during the brand presentation and brand download you can keep sharing your questions and the interest of city into the q and a box and we will answer all your questions live post our presentation today Our today's brand is three sixty five pizza. A Bogo party brand, pizza brand basically. They are sharing a great deal, a great franchise opportunity into Indian market. We do have uh, the founder, Mr. Raj, here joined us on this panel today to tell you more about the business and the franchise opportunity with three sixty five pizza. We have Mr. Samarth, who is the senior consultant, will be helping you in understanding the commercials and brand uh, investment breakup. We have Mr. Manoj Yadav who has joined us here on this panel, and Mr. Manoj is going to reach out to you for one-to-one -one discussion to take the conversation forward as he is leading this brand and leading the franchise in Indian market. So I would like to welcome all the panelists who have joined us here on this panel today. And now I would like to request Mr. Raj to take the lead and tell us more, tell our participants more about the brand and also about the business opportunity you have to share with our people. Over to you, Raj. yeah uh thank you so much neha and uh, thank you franchise india for uh, providing uh, the 365 pizza sta an opportunity to showcase uh, its brand and uh, i'm uh, i'm quite happy for the fact that you know in the indian market if we look uh, around uh, we can see a lot of qsrs which are opening up and providing a franchise opportunity for the next people uh, out there to you know be a part of a, a, a group where you know you can uh manage it from uh, wherever it is possible uh and three since throughout the years we have seen that only the qsr has been one of the formats uh that uh, has grown uh, at a massive scale and it has only grown is only because uh, for the fact that uh it is quite manageable it is uh, organized uh you can uh, you know make the sops uh, make the format as simpler as possible and uh, try to scale it uh in a very less space uh you can do a re really good amount of business as well so uh so starting with this uh, concept of uh, 365 pizza sta first i would like to explain what this uh, 365 pizza sta is about uh 
uh, 365 and pizza sa so if you break this entire name into uh, three parts so first starting with the 365 uh, so this brand is providing a 365 days uh, offer uh, usually what is the concept of you know providing this offer is uh, we we wanted uh, to first give out uh, yeah uh, so first we wanted to give out uh, Uh, so first we wanted to give out the opportunity uh, to the people out there to try our brand for the first time so uh, since it is very important and it is very crucial uh, when the brand is presenting himself uh, for the first time in the market where there are already established player it's important that a customer should give us, get something that is valuable that is exciting and uh, also something that it would crave uh, any uh, customer to come in inside your store so that's why we we are the kind of a first brand who tried with this concept of putting the offer on the board itself so we are a 365 uh, pizza sta a buy one get one party brand and we are displaying openly uh, in the market uh, under the one banner so that is the first thing that is basically attracting the customer that okay this brand is something that is uh, giving a constant offer so let's try for the first time so that is that is the first curiosity that we are trying to develop in the market uh, once uh, the, the once the customer comes inside the uh, you know inside the store it's very important for him to see uh, what is the speciality so moving forward with that we are not only a pizza brand but we are a pizza and pasta so we are giving a equal importance to both the food which is one of the uh, highest selling food uh, or the most preferred uh, food in entire india if we uh, look for the top uh food in the fast food market so it's burger pizza and fries uh, and pastas as well so we are making the combination of the pizza pasta and uh, fries uh, uh, so these are all the th uh, uh, three things we are combining together uh, but there are lot of people who are preferring pizza over pasta but what here we are trying to make it possible is we are giving a uh, buy one get one cross selling offer on the pizza with pasta as well so uh, it's not only the buy one get one offer which is applicable on the pizza or only the pasta but you can also get the pizza and pasta both the offers neha you are not audible you want to say something yeah nothing nothing you please carry on yeah so uh, basically uh, so we are trying to cross sell the pizza and pasta uh, which are the two distinct food uh, in the market and we are trying to cr cross sell under the offer of a buy one get one so that is one of the biggest speciality and it is uh, not only applicable on fewer of the products but we are trying to make it possible uh, to sell it across all the variants so whether it is small medium large uh, you know and pasta has only one size uh, we have that is a standard uh, pasta uh, which comes under the 500 ml uh, container so we are trying to make it possible that we are trying most of the sellings through the uh, with pizza we are trying to sell pastas more uh, under the buy one get one offer so this is one of the biggest speciality that you know people are getting indians have this uh, tendency of uh, having uh, you know variety of food that they like to look onto the table so that's what we are trying to make it possible that uh, you know people should be uh, very keen on trying different things uh, and uh, and not just pizzas uh, that's what our main focus was so along with that we are also selling uh, uh, garlic breads and we have starters like fries uh, we have shakes as well uh, so this entire combination uh, if we just combine together it becomes a huge package for those group of people out there who are looking for the offers uh, so we all indians uh, have this uh, kind of a offer centric mentality where you know we want uh, that if you are you know bringing the group together there is only one person who is paying off and he should be having a huge sa savings uh we know that the pizza market has been the premium market uh, but we are trying to make it as affordable as possible for uh, the people out there uh for all the uh, you know class people uh, so that's what our main focus is so and this brand since last one year has generated uh, a strength uh, where it is combining groups and groups and groups uh, celebrating their anniversaries uh, you know birthdays uh, celebrating their big moments uh that's what uh, uh, you know and 365 has been always uh, at the first place is only because they could get a huge savings 
so we are uh, becoming a more successful brand in terms of you know giving out a constant offer uh, and this offer is uh, can't be beatable with any 20% or 30% because uh, with time if the offer uh, uh, you know the offer structure changes the same thing comes with the buy one get one now because of the uh, you know big premium brands like dmart are showcasing that you know the biggest selling uh, uh, onto the aisle is uh, because of the buy one get one so the same strategy is basing uh, is being applied over over here as well uh, in the 365 pizza star as well, in 365 pizza star so along with this uh, we also have uh, combo offers like uh, we are providing uh, you know pizza pasta fries garlic bread so we have a thali kind of a concept uh, that is very new in the market uh, which we are selling at a rate of 299 onwards uh, and in that also we have a variations where you can get with pizza uh, with pizza you can get pasta but of two different flavors if you want so this entire combination is making people wow thinking about okay let's try with uh, just going for the pizza let's go for something which will have the combination of all things together so that's what is a unique uh, concept that we have we are trying to inculcate in the market and uh, we are, since last one year we are uh, successfully running uh, this uh, 365 pizza sta brand and uh, now uh, we just thought of like stepping up and try to provide the opportunity to the people out there uh, to uh, to be a part of it and uh, to see that how this entire structure can you know uh, provide uh, a good value for money brand in the market uh, thank you so much raj and i guess uh, there is a presentation as well uh, with you that uh, maybe you can also uh, walk us through uh, yeah. which is there and uh, then we can also have further uh, discussion on the financial aspect as well uh, so uh, it's a good opportunity uh, that will just take us to the presentation as well what we dis discussed and what he was just briefing us about different category different products and offering it's a unique offering which is there in the market which gives all our potential partners uh, uh, a unique opportunity to invest in this kind of business as well and grow together with it so Raj will just maybe take us through and also take you through the commercials uh, later on and we'll open it up to Q&A you now. So if you have any questions in between, feel free, feel free to put your questions in the Q&A box and we can take up accordingly. So I'll hand it to Raj. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so first, uh, starting with the brand, uh, I want to share a couple of things. So as you can see, like I was talking about uh, the signage board, uh, the open display where the 365 Pizza Star uh, with the name, we are displaying the USP and it's the first brand to do that. And uh, since uh, since we started this, it's uh, just, you know, becoming more easier from the marketing perspective uh, to reach out to the, uh, to reach out to the people that, you know, what what is the speciality of this brand? Uh, so that's what has been mentioned on the board as well. If you can read, it's a buy one, get one, twice the party. Uh, that's what our main uh, USP is that uh, we are trying to, uh, you know, display in the market and try to get the customers uh, inside the store. Uh, mission and vision. Uh, we, uh, we, I have already discussed uh, that the mission is basically providing a very affordable food uh, and uh, especially for the group of people who want to celebrate their special occasions. Uh, and uh, nowadays, uh, if you just calculate the kind of inflation that has been uh, rising in the market, uh, it's very important to provide uh, the pizza and pasta experience to all the groups of people. So that's what our main mission is to, you know, provide this uh, affordable food to uh, as big, as bigger audience as possible. Uh, a quick glance about myself. Uh, so um, I have not only completed my bachelor's in engineering uh, back in the year 2016, but after that, I went for my master's in management studies uh, to US. And uh, also uh, I have, uh, you know, published a couple of research papers into the psychology, uh, having uh, expertise in the domain of, uh, you know, knowing the consumer centric uh, approach towards the products in the market. Uh, and that's what uh, I have been uh, studying inside the my brand as well. Like since last one year, we are trying a lot of ifs and buts uh, regarding our 
policies regarding you know the usps and uh, pretty much uh, now after after one year we found some successful uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, the specific uh, sets of set of uh, uh, question uh, set of answers that the people were uh, you know looking for and that's where the 365 has been uh, creating as a uh, as a first discount centric brand uh, talking about our offerings, uh, so we uh, provide our main uh, products as the pizza and pasta. In pizza, we have around uh, 25 different uh, varieties in pastas. We have uh, 10 different types of pastas uh, for the and then we have beverages. In beverages, we have shakes. Uh, we have uh, our own customized lemonades, uh, garlic breads, uh, then calzone, uh, fries. Uh, we have uh, nachos as well. So all the things that, uh, you know, people out there are looking for is present in this brand. So value proposition. Uh, so first of all is the, uh, is the uh, quick and uh, premium quality service. So uh, from the operation point of view, uh, if you just uh, look at this uh, brand, uh, it's very important to, you know, manage uh, the kind of crowd uh, that comes uh, especially on the uh, weekends. Uh, so for that, we have basically made our kitchen in a way that, you know, very less amount of the people are needed to, you know, process uh, a good value of uh, customers in a very quick amount of time. So we have designed our kitchen in that way. Uh, and again, uh, we have a proper SOPs for uh, the products, uh, all the sauces, uh, right from the pizza sauce till the cheese sauce, whatever we make, uh, we have our own formulas for it and it's a successful formula because people have uh, been repeated uh, inside this brand uh, since last one, one and a half year. We have more than 40% of the customers who are repeated uh, for at least three times uh, in a row. So that's what uh, we have seen in the, uh, that's what we have seen since last one year. Uh, apart from this, we have a technical technological support uh, when it comes to the uh, uh, you know, tracking uh, the kind of sale that we are generating. Uh, apart from that, we also have uh, uh, marketing support and uh, marketing has a huge, uh, uh, like uh, th there are so many domains in the market that we are supposed to know that which one works and which doesn't. So since last one year, we have figured out, uh, you know, in what uh, money can, you know, generate what kind of uh, marketing effort should be put so that we can generate a good amount of business. So we have basically uh, try. We have basically made the all things combined together so that we can, you know, try to expand our market in a uh, as less uh, uh, money as possible. So we try to, uh, you know, make it affordable. So Indian food preference. We all know that uh, there are different cuisines out there, and uh, first one comes with the North Indian. Chinese, uh, South Indian, but uh, when it comes to the QSR, especially for the age range between the uh, age of uh, starting from the 10 and 12 kids uh, to the range of 26, 27, they have the highest preference for the uh, QSR uh, food like uh, uh, pizzas and pastas and burgers. It's because uh, it's, uh, first of all, uh, very, uh, you know, different cuisine. It's, it's a very fast so that's what has, uh, it's been shown over here as well. Uh, it's quite affordable when it comes to the casual dining and QSR. In less than 15 or 20 minutes, you can have the food on table. Uh, that's what the main concept of, uh, you know, putting, uh, expanding the QSR is. So if you look at the ideal uh, partner for the profiles, uh, we are looking for people out there uh, who are really interested into the QSR format. Uh, and it's only because the QSR format is the format that basically is giving an opportunity in a very less space, uh, but generating a really good amount of profits. Uh, so uh, when it comes to the investment cost or uh, the uh, return on investments, uh, all things are pretty much smaller and quicker as compared to the rest of the formats out there. So we are basically looking for people who are very keen on you know developing their own uh, set of thoughts for the uh, QSR. They want to expand their their horizons into this industry. Uh, that's what we are looking for uh, uh, when it comes to the uh, profile partners.
so like i have stated uh, you know before as well like what is the importance of this uh, brand so 365 pizza sta a unique promotion scheme we are providing we are the first brand uh, to provide 365 days constant offer so that the customers first choice will be uh, the pizza sta uh, for the first time and uh, uh, we have also tailored the offering condition according to occasion like for example uh, thali concept is becoming more and more famous nowadays is only because you know people want to try i everything uh, in one single uh, format and we try to inculcate those things so we are basically basically not only tailoring in in the uh, combos format in the thalis format but also uh, in a buy one get one where the customer is not only looking for uh, the pizzas buy one get one offer but he can also customize it he can uh, he can take two different pizzas or he can take one pizza and one pasta uh, as well Uh, like apart from the constant offer which is uh, applied through uh, applied by all the brands out there so we are a very dedicated team uh, it's been since last one year our entire staff uh, managers and uh, marketing team support everything uh, it's been phenomenal we are you know it's it's our main uh, it, it was our main motive to you know give the best food possible to the people at a very affordable rate that's what the main uh, focus is because nowadays uh, the be the better food it gets the more expensive it gets as well so we are trying to make it possible that it should be affordable because that is the first need of the market right now and we have tried really hard uh, to you know make it possible and try to make it affordable as well as profitable it's very important so we have made it possible in last one year uh return on investment uh, so um, uh, samarth will uh, you know make you go through the sure. entire financials uh, uh, regarding the uh, format of how the financial works and uh, you know he will also make you go through how it is going to uh, create an impact uh, or and how much amount of time it's going to uh, take uh, then after that uh, strong supply chain and quality uh, we ensure that through our sops we are not uh you know uh, we are basically trying to make it possible that all the food products that we process is of the same quality and consistency every single day uh that's our main motive is so that the customer will not uh you know get an opportunity to complain back uh we have uh, we we made it sure that you know all things are pretty much simpler uh, in terms of supply chain in terms of uh you know producing it on a everyday basis perfect uh, thank you raj so yeah. i'll uh, maybe also brief uh, more uh, going forward on the franchise concept and the model when we're talking about the commercial as you were talking about so friends is a very good opportunity uh, that we have uh, with uh, especially with the vegetarians also that are looking into what we see uh, traditionally is just pure non veg and others uh, which are there so we have a very healthy mix uh, if you want to have a vegetarian menu uh, which is there and prominently having different options uh, this is where the advantage also comes in when you're tying up with this brand when you uh, see as a comparison with other opportunities as well there are majority of the menu would be non vegetarians uh, so given the uh, market as well and other areas as well so the vegetarian uh, menu options that we have uh, gives us a very big advantage uh, typically the whole model would be a franchise on franchise operated model uh, so with the proper training proper guideline and proper support by raj and the team at 365 pizza they'll be uh, supporting you throughout different journey providing you the right uh, support how we need to uh, work and what kind of schemes and sales guidance everything as a training would be provided to you what you need to do is operate it on the day to day basis cook the food and service the customers who are coming over there and um, handle all the staff and ensure that okay everything is working uh, properly the right set of equipment the right branding the right design of the store is something that the brand supports you with so that we ensure that uh, you get that kind of premium experience for any customer who is coming over there so food industry nowadays is not only about the taste taste is very critical but it's also about the uh, experience that they get uh and it becomes a popular hangout especially with the youngsters uh, that we're looking into so as you can see uh, as a design as well so one of the examples of uh, on the screen so this is where the creative way for uh, encouraging and inviting others uh, not only youngsters but uh, all other as a family groups friends everybody that they can come here eat 
good food and also have a pleasant experience overall. So how we need to deal with the customers, not only from the food service point of view, but also the customer service point of view, all this training would be provided by the brand to you so that you give them a very uh, good experience and get positive feedback, uh, which is why they uh, become a loyal brand to you as a brand uh, partner as well. So typically minimum would be about a 300 depending on the location that we're looking into. If you're looking for a, a food court option or maybe a smaller other option, we can go with a minimum size of 300. But ideally about a 600 square feet of a space is something that we can have a proper sitting and a dining option for uh, partners to uh, customers to come in. Uh, typically the investment would be about 19, 21 lakh rupees depending on those uh, location. Uh, which is there uh, if you have a smaller if you have a structure in place and there is modification and refurbishment uh, needed over there so that could also be certain uh, case by case basis that we can discuss with you how you can save uh, more costs on this investment but typically uh, for all the rebranding so this 19 lakh rupees would include all your uh, investment which is your fit out uh, which is critical your branding which is there your kitchen setup your right equipment that you're supposed to be having plus it also includes the franchise fee so it's a one-time franchise fee which is three lakh rupees uh, plus gst which is there uh, this three lakh rupees itself is reinvested uh, into the business because what we want is our partners to be successful so it becomes very critical uh, that we support them uh, with the right training uh, right uh, marketing activities which is there plus also the protocols and the different softwares also which is there uh, so as to make you uh, successful uh, right away uh, when you start off with the business uh, what we can expect on the return side uh, as early as uh, maybe 13 to 15 months uh, which is there but conservatively also within one and a half years is something that you can get uh, your investment back uh, as an option so it's a very good uh, return on investment uh, that you can see overall that you're getting over here five percent uh, is the typical royalty uh, that we'll have on the overall revenue that you would are supposed to be paying the brand uh, which is there uh, it's a recurring support uh, uh, which is there and against which we are uh, also uh, getting the royalty uh, and it's very healthy royalty as we can see with the comparisons in the market as well uh, so this is where uh, you come into the picture five year term uh, that you will see uh, Five years would be the continuous. If you want to renew it after that, we can always have a discussion and renew it for yeah, another yeah. five years. Yeah. What kind of revenue that you can earn? One would be, yes, the typical retail sales for customers who are walking into the whole setup, your restaurant and having the food over there. So that is uh, always there. Uh, and you also get an opportunity with the online uh, orders, uh, which are coming over here. So both of them uh, become your uh, key revenue drivers. Within the retail sales, it's not only maybe individuals or the couples or the friends who are coming here. There, there are cases of birthday parties that you can celebrate over there or you can have other kind of gatherings uh, also available. So the whole uh, structure and whole revenue would be uh, distinguished between not only individuals or not reliant only maybe on the specific genders or age group, but all the family gathering, friends gathering, events, everything can happen over there. And what kind of right local marketing would be required uh, for your area would be provided also with the brand. So what will be the roles and responsibilities, Raj, we can move to the next uh, page, uh, would be uh, what your responsibility would be on the day-to-day -day basis, as we had talked about, uh, that uh, we'll be working on it. Uh, as you will be handling all the operations, you'll be handling the uh, staff, which is there, maintaining the hygiene, the cleanliness, everything, because if all small elements add up uh, together. So every element is a crucial, be it your back end or back of the house or the front of the house. So cleanliness, hygiene, and the quality is supposed to be maintained uh, across, uh, which is why it is uh, your role and responsibility to ensure that everything is uh, working smoothly. Plus, what we also say is uh, the local uh, marketing is something that you would help us with. So at the central level, the brand does all the marketing through the different social media platforms, different uh, uh, other platforms like events, etc. But we will also encourage you to help us uh, with uh, promoting the brand uh, in the local level in your respective uh, localities and the areas around you so that we attract more customers over there. Uh, what we also uh, have is a ERP support or the software support as we were talking about initially 
uh, throughout the technology. So it's a comprehensive uh, platform which makes it easier for you to operate. You don't have to worry about the billing software. You don't have to worry about raising the inventory on time and the supply chain, which is there. Everything is centrally done, which helps you uh, maintain the records as well uh, and also the customer orders as well. So different formats, different records, everything you can done, do it on the central server, which is something easier for you as well. And it's something that helps the brand also give effective feedback to you, uh, which is important because that is the uh, kind of support you can also uh, see uh, get from the brand. Training is mandatory before you start the operations. Uh, so that is very crucial. Uh, you need to not only learn uh, about the brand and the products, uh, not only how to cook, but also how to operate this uh, outlet, uh, which is there, how to deal with the customers and all uh, your staff and everything. So not only uh, your staff who would be cooking, but you as a partner as well would require the assistance and the proper training on how to manage the overall operations. So that is something uh, which would be there. And yes, act, uh, which is very crucial, uh, maintain the image and uh, maintain the... Uh, quality uh, and the relationship that the brand uh, wants you to and expects you to have because it's not only uh, the brand's brand but it's also your brand uh, when you tie up with us so we would want uh, everybody uh, all the customers and the brand image to be uh, sustained and uh, not be hampered in any way so uh, to help uh, also ensure that uh, everything is done properly uh, is something uh, expectation out of you the brand will definitely help you guide you uh, on the right and have you on the right track always uh, the site selection we help you with the feasibility whether the location that you have currently uh, would it be right or not because location becomes very crucial for us so uh, with the experience and the understanding we are able to tell you what kind of structure we can have what kind of format we can have smaller format or a bigger format over there and how we need to operate uh, how the location works is very important what kind of fit out we would have is also becomes very uh, crucial uh, that would also be provided to everybody as a guidance uh, training is there uh, with hybrid approach that we follow uh, ideally what we want is for you to come to the nearest outlet and get a proper training and then uh, we'll also have regular audits to help you with your improve your efficiency uh, because uh, the feedback is very important and the brand utilizing the technology so when we are talking about a data driven organization like us we follow the data to ensure okay what is selling what is not selling in the market what worked as a scheme and what kind of promotions and schemes work in the market and accordingly we can change our inventory and accordingly we can also adjust to the market scenario which is there so this becomes very crucial for you as a partner the data we are a data centric organization where we are giving you the right data as to what we need to target and what we need to also see uh, from our side so r and d and the trend and everything would be there from our side and also have any kind of strategic uh, tie-up to give you the right inventory and everything. Uh, can we move to the next slide? So the support uh, starts off with your setup itself, uh, where the fit out, the right design, the right uh, quality, everything would be there. So pre-opening setup, guidance, the operational manuals, uh, the designs, which were there, the recipes, uh, which is there, uh, there, the product and the supply would also be supported by the brand uh, from their central kitchen. And also what kind of uh, licenses, what kind of uh, permissions are required, everything would be provided to you so that you don't face any challenge once you start the operations. Uh, post uh, operations as well, it continues uh, with the product supplies, the innovations in the menu, uh, that we're looking into also having the central level marketing to get that kind of brand and customer pull. Also, there would be periodic uh, promotional schemes. So BOGO uh, party itself is uh, the major attraction, uh, which is there as a brand stands for. And uh, that is uh, where the customers would also be there. But any kind of uh, support or any kind of promotional schemes required with other options, uh, being the pasta also, uh, being one of the unique uh, selling uh, products for us, uh, because the way we prepare it and the way it is there, uh, not only with the pizzas, but we also known for our pastas in the area that we are uh, running operational. So that becomes very crucial for you because you have different menu options, which by themselves are the hero products, uh, apart from the pizza that we stand for and all other kind of technical support will be there. So quick recap for you on the financial front, uh, when we're looking into this is uh, the investment about 1921 lakh rupees uh, four four model which would be there, three lakh rupees uh, plus GST is your one time franchise fee, 
Uh, then you have a 5% royalty, uh, which is there uh, with a payback period of uh, 13 to 15 months and at the maximum 18 months, depending on the locations, which is there. What entails within this 19 lakhs? 19 lakhs includes everything, all the costs, the franchise fee, the setup cost. Your setup would typically uh, require about the 10 to 12 lakh rupees, uh, which includes your furnishing, the designs, which is there, the lighting, which is there, your signages, boarding, kitchen equipment, kitchen setup, uh, which is required, then your machineries, uh, which would be required to prepare the food. So 12 or lakh rupees goes in your kitchen setup and your uh, outlet setup, which is there, 3 lakh rupees becomes your fees. And then we'll also have your I other IT permissions and the initial inventory, uh, which is there. So that's an, another two, two and a half lakh rupees having all other uh, setup costs. So basically uh, with one, 1. 1.5 lakh rupees would be uh, your inventory plus also the marketing expense. So within two lakhs, you'll have all this expense uh, coming into the picture. Plus you'll have uh, 12, 13 lakh rupees on the overall fit out cost. The revenue for you, overall margins that you are able to get, uh, the cost of goods for you would be about 35%, uh, which is there. Uh, with the average uh, order values also that you can see with different uh, products that we'll cover in the Q&A uh, rounds as well. So table sales we'll have, we can have group book bookings which goes up to maybe like a 5,000 rupees or a table uh, sales which could go to about a 300 rupees as well. So it varies upon the pricing, varies upon the category of the product that we take and then accordingly we can proceed ahead with that. Uh, typical uh, expenses for you, the majority would be, one would be the cost of goods, the second would be your uh, royalty that you provide and third would be the rentals. The rest is your basic operational expenses, which is your uh, electricity, utilities, phone, internet and others, which is about a, a 30 to 50,000 rupees uh, per month that would be costing you. Overall, uh, on the investment front, uh, with a five-year period on this 19 to 20 lakh investment, uh, you can easily earn about uh, 5x of your return. Uh, which is about 80 lakhs to 1, 1.2 lakh rupees. So I'll hand it over to uh, everybody. Feel free to put your questions in the Q&A box. We'll start with the Q&A round as well uh, from our side and uh, then we'll uh, take up the further questions as well. Uh, thank you, Raj, for sharing the screen. We can stop it now and then we'll uh, now start the Q&A round. Uh, which is All right. So I guess the first question is, uh, what is the quantity and what type of cheese do you usually use, uh, which is there, uh, Raj? If you can uh, yes, Samad. Uh, so regarding the cheese, we are using the two types of cheese. Uh, first is the mozzarella cheese, which is uh, quite prominent uh, when we are when anyone is uh, uh, making the pizzas. But along with that, we are making our specialized uh, liquid cheese as well. So these two cheese are the basically the combination which is given out uh, is only because to you know provide more uh, better experience uh, when someone is eating the pizza it shouldn't be a dry so that's why we have made the combination of these two cheeses. And what is the typical uh, store setup uh, when we talk about the kitchen setup and uh, the overall store plan? Uh, what uh, what all includes in that? So we were talking about the branding and the chairs and the kitchen as well. So if you can just uh, uh, provide a brief for the partners, what would be the typical setup? Yeah, so the kitchen setup uh, typically will have uh, a bean mary uh, to make the pizzas. Uh, along with that, couple of refrigerators, uh, which which we call it as a deep freezer. Uh, and uh, chillers as well. Uh, these are the two things which are required for daily operations. But also along with that, we have a, 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 a oven uh, which is needed to process the pizzas. Uh, but at a at a speed where you know you can provide to the maximum audience. So we are basically using uh, a proper conveyor belt uh, pizza oven. Uh, also along with that, we also have uh, the setup which which has a induction uh, that we use it for the pastas as well. Uh, so this is the basic setup and uh, for this we need an area of around uh, 100 to 150 square feet. Uh, if the uh, total size of the restaurant is around 300 square feet, uh, then the 100 square feet is what is needed. 
Sure, perfect. And uh, when we talk about uh, the, uh, just to give them a reference points on the product. So we had uh, talked about the different options that are available with the pizzas and the pastas and the variations which are available. So uh, uh, what would be the top three uh, selling products for us, uh, which is there? And also what is the average, uh, maybe the price points and the sales that we can derive easily uh, as a reasonable expectation uh, from our outlets? Perfect. Yeah, so so the average of 12 months that we have seen uh, through the study of or using the analysis uh, tools uh, through the software, we have seen that uh, people are uh, going more towards the pizza, which has a better cheese uh, quantity. And uh, that's why our couple of names are also working out out there. Like, for example, the Chizania pizza is one of the highest selling pizzas, which is like uh, incorporating around 70% uh, of the customers. Uh, and also when it comes to the pasta as well, uh, we are selling more than 45% of the time we are selling uh, the mix sauce pasta. These are, these are the two best uh, pizza and pasta, which is, uh, uh, you know, highest selling or the average that we can calculate in last 12 months. Uh, but, but apart from that, uh, if you talk about the uh, financial, uh, Samad, can you repeat about the finance, what you asked? Yeah, so typical series that we can say, say for example, 6 lakhs to 8 lakh rupees, uh, which is expected uh, what partners can get easily to different kind of uh, options because we have the uh, bigger parties also coming in and uh, order, single orders also coming in. Yeah. So maybe on that and also typical expenses. So we were talking about the renters and others. So uh, overall in a month, what could be the expense for a person? Uh, okay, so uh, talking about the range, uh, so it's uh, the uh, per month, uh, the range starts from 5 lakh onwards, it, it can go around to 7 to 8 lakhs uh, in an outlet of uh, uh, of around 300 square feet. In that, we are doing 30% of the business uh, on an average uh, in the birthday parties. Uh, that's what uh, we are uh, doing right now. And uh, looking forward to, uh, it can even grow uh, with respect to the uh, prominence uh, of digital uh, uh, mediums like Zomato and Swiggy, it can also go up till 10 lakhs or 11 lakhs as well. Perfect. So it's a very healthy, So which is why we had mentioned. So we, the sales that we can see in the outlet would be, yes, one would be uh, the, what uh, on a range of 5 to uh, 7, 8 that we see or uh, given the months and the period uh, which is there. Plus, you, then you also have the option of getting and uh, driving your sales uh, growth through the uh, online Swiggy Zomato and other orders which is there and your own platform. So that will give you a much bigger uh, boost as well. And online, as we all know, uh, is a very big factor nowadays uh, as well. So it's a big contributor to our overall revenue. So depending on the location, dep depending on the format uh, that we have, we can have uh, the various uh, range. So on an average, about a 7 lakh rupees uh, with all the models is something that we can reasonably expect uh, from both the platforms uh, which is coming here. And uh, when we talk about uh, Raj, uh, on the uh, BOGO concept, so usually how the orders are uh, placed over there, uh, do they have customization options or what would be the whole range? So would they want to have same uh, type of pizza or they can order different kind of pizzas or a combination also, which is there. So just for everybody's reference, because that is also a very important point uh, from our side. Uh, so, okay, so I'll explain you in uh, both the formats, uh, in-store as well as uh, outside the store, that is online, basically. Uh, sure. So, in-store is basically, uh, if you're selecting the two different pizzas, it's the higher one that has been charged. Uh, but also along with that, we are uh, basically, uh, you know, making people, uh, uh, making aware of the fact that if you're selecting two different pizzas, then there is a, a little bit of additional charges of around 39 rupees for the half enough concept. Uh, which most of the people out there know that half enough is basically a combination of two different pizza inside the one pizza. But because it's a buy one, get one concept, so we are providing two different pizzas, uh, two, one, uh, two single pizzas, basically. So that is basically uh, uh, whichever is higher price along with the half enough charge uh, that applies for uh, buy one, get one policy on two different pizza, but also for the pasta, that is with the pizza, if you take the pasta, whichever is higher that you need to pay, you don't need to pay any extra amount on that. Uh, also, along with that, uh, if you are selecting the same pizzas, then it's pretty much uh, uh, very uh, easy to calculate. That's uh, uh, basically, you know, for, with small, you can take small. With medium, you can take medium. Uh, same applies to large as well. Definitely, that is helpful. And what is the typical manpower? I guess Kunal, Mr. Kunal Singh is asking, uh, what is the manpower requirement uh, to operate uh, its smoothly? 
Okay, so the current structure that we are uh, doing the sales of uh, average around uh, uh, seven to eight lakh rupees uh, on an average, we are managing uh, in 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 a staff of four to five, uh, switching in and off. Sometimes you know one person uh, can be replaced, but at minimum four people are what what is needed in order to you know make it maximize profit as possible. Uh, five people. Uh, one is uh, a manager. That has been uh, the concept. If you want a manager and a cashier, then you need to have a total team of six people. But if you don't need a cashier, then with a manager and uh, the four people uh, inside the kitchen, that should be good enough. Perfect. And I guess uh, somebody has also asked, uh, would we be interested in a location of Kulla West? Uh, they're saying opposite Baba Hospital, uh, where they would maybe want to have their outlet. Uh, so would we be interested in that location as well? Uh, Neha, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I think uh, Raj has got Raja, some sir. network issues. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So I, I didn't get your name because you are Mr. Anonymous. So the, the details and the number has been shared uh, uh, in the group. Uh, uh, please feel free to contact us uh, with the exact location and uh, the investment and the property details which we're looking at. I guess we have Raj back. Yes. So Raj, we were just talking about somebody asking on the location of Kulla West uh, opposite Baba Hospital. So would we be interested uh, in discussing and having the outlet uh, in that area? Uh, definitely. From a, a strategic point of view, uh, the Kurla is one of the prominent markets that we have figured out. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, from the but uh, from the local perspective, we have to uh, visit and we have to see whether uh, sure. what is the uh, you know the immediate people in the two kilometer three kilometer of vicinity. Uh, but Kurla is one of the uh, main uh, places that we are targeting. That's it. So uh, perfect. Uh, so you can share your details. Please uh, share your contact details or maybe uh, the details are there in the chat box. Please give us a call. Uh, we can uh, have the discussion. Maybe Nia, we can reach out to uh, the person uh, over here concerned as well and fix a meeting with Mr. Raj and see how the location and the whole uh, thing works. And uh, so what, uh, Mr. Rahul, uh, the rollout for you, what kind of locations are you looking at? Uh, you can let us know. Uh, Mr. Dinesh Mangal also wants to have a discussion. Neha, we can he share his number. So let's also uh, speak with him, explain the model and fix a meeting with Mr. Raj, uh, which is there. Uh, Mr. Rahul, if you can share your uh, locations, uh, we can uh, happy to discuss it, uh, the business and what type of uh, partnership are you looking for, uh, smaller units or multiple units as well. Uh, we can be happy to discuss this further as well. So the numbers are there. Uh, uh, I guess a couple of answers that you already answered is very important and critical for everybody to know is fresh uh, pizzas. So it's not a frozen pizza, uh, just for everyone's uh, reference over here. Uh, so it's a fresh, freshly made, fresh sauce, fresh ingredients, uh, which are provided to everybody. Uh, and uh, yes, the number for everyone's reference, 9717683838. Or you can reach out to us at feedback at franchiseindia.in uh, with your queries. Uh, Mr. Dinesh uh, will be, uh, Neha and the team would be, and would be reaching out to you uh, directly. I guess Mr. Manoj would be contacting you uh, plus uh, mr uh, mr miss anonymous uh, would be happy if you can put your uh, number uh, in the chat box we can reach out to you or you can reach out to us on the numbers which is there so once again 9717 uh, you can contact us uh, so before we close mr Rad, any uh, last message uh, for all the audience who are there in today's webinar plus also who would be listening to us uh, online as well uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, thank you so much, uh, Franchise India, for providing this platform. Uh, for all the people out there, I we, I just have a one message uh, that, you know, uh, you are basically looking for a brand uh, right now, which is uh, kind of, you know, progressing really fast. And uh, mouth to mouth publicity has been uh, what uh, the people are spreading this brand and, uh, you know, creating love and happiness. And we are basically the first preference for uh, all the people uh, out there right now, uh, if you are talking about the, the location that we are in right now. So uh, thank you so much uh, for the entire presentation and your valuable time. Um, I hope we'll get in touch uh, soon. And uh, me personally will be helping, uh, helping you out in setting up the store and uh, trying to create the maximum impact as possible. Uh, that's what our main motive is. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, Neha, I'll hand it over to you. 
Thank you so much, Samar. Thank you, Mr. Raj. Thank you uh, for your time and uh, thank you for sharing this wonderful opportunity for all our participants who are watching you live. I hope that you will have a wonderful day ahead. Guys, uh, Manoj from our team is going to connect with you and uh, to take the conversation forward. And he's going to connect you with Mr. Raj for one-to-one -one discussion and take the conversation forward for the franchisee. And uh, I have already shared the contact details. Samarth has repeated the contact details. Our hotline number is 9717683838. You can reach out to us. So tonight in the evening at 7 p.m., we are coming up with uh, some great opportunities from West Market. As you know that we are doing our Bharat franchisee show these days. Uh, and uh, today we are going to share some opportunities from the market of uh, West India. So to explore this opportunity to attend this webinar, I have shared a registration link into the chat window, which you can uh, register on yourself. And just click on the link, get yourself registered, join us at 7 p.m. in the evening and explore yeah. the business opportunities from West Market. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us all. You'll have a wonderful evening so and a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Samarth and Raj Manoj joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Neha. Thank you, Samarth.